Hey guys, what's up? It's Armacalypse here again, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to actually run Genimotion. I don't really know how to pronounce it, maybe it's Genimotion or Genimotion, but I'll just stick to Genimotion now. Um, Genimotion virtual, um, the virtual machine, um, in your computer. Okay, so I have posted this picture on Facebook, and some of my friends asked me, asked me, this friend Dixon Yap, he's an old friend, he asked me how to uh, make how to use this thing in your computer so here I am gonna teach you guys how to use it this is for you Dixon okay so all I have to do first of all is go to genuemotion.com um, and you download the genuemotion installation file wait, wait for it okay so here it is genuemotion um, the fastest android emulator okay so you go to get genuemotion you press this thing and wait okay uh, choose your license you want free in the uh, business um we'll just go on with the free one so we'll download the free one and download ready to run Genimotion installer for windows uh okay so here's the windows 32 or 64 bits with the virtual box included so this version actually includes the vir oracle virtual box uh blah 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 dependency so you don't have to install and you don't have to download and install VirtualBox manually. Um, and for this one, you need to have VirtualBox installed in your computer to run virtual devices. So we will download this one. So I already downloaded this file, which is the Genimotion 2.1 the VBox uh, with the VirtualBox stuff. I have I have already downloaded this one. So you guys who want it, you can download it. Uh, I don't need it, so I'll just close it and I'll go to my downloads and look for the file. Uh, the file is over here. Uh, I'll just press on it and open file security warning. Do you want to run this file? Yes. We run this file if you want to install this thing. It's very simple to down to install this thing. It's just like installing any other software or games and just uh, proceed with the setup. It's really very simple. The setup wizard is uh, you just press next and blah blah blah. I've already downloaded this thing. I've already installed this thing so I don't really need it right now. Uh, so I just can just close it because I don't really want to replace my old one. Okay, so after you've installed this thing and you've installed the virtual box, which they will install later at the installation wizard, um, you just click on the Genimotion icon twice, I guess. It's like, open the file. And here you go, you have Genimotion for personal use. So if you are a first user of this thing, you just this is your first time using this, uh, virtual machine you need to press add and you can add your f your, your stuff and uh, you need to log in to discover all available virtual devices so i will connect uh, let's see i don't really know i don't really remember um blah 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 i think it's wrong let's see let's see I can't remember. All right, that's that's it. Um, so you have a lot of tablets and Xperia S, Galaxy S4, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Note, a custom tablets. So I'm using the custom phone, which is this one, the newest one, I think, the API 16. And you just press next, and you download the thing. I have downloaded this thing, so I don't really need to download it anymore. I have everything. Um, prepared before I make this video so it will be much easier for you guys cuz uh, I'll just it, well after you've downloaded uh, you don't have to wait for me to finish downloading all this shit okay so I'll just press this thing I just press play so it will initialize virtual device it's gonna start but before you can actually run apps on your device you would have to go to Google and look for Jedi Motion arm translation okay there you go and you choose the first one which is the xda developers dot com um, guide general motion installing arm translation and g apps but uh, for this one you don't really need g apps you just uh, take the arm translation install you just press this and you can uh, you download it wait close this damn thing because ads are really very annoying so i have downloaded this file and it's just like uh, how you downloaded the other file um, you just close uh, you just download this thing and 
I already have it, so I don't really need to download. As I said, I've downloaded everything before I made this video, so I'll just close it, close it, and just leave this here. Okay, so you have your custom phone, but at first you can't install apps. I have installed some apps. I can run WeChat. Uh, the WhatsApp, uh, I'll just delete it sometime because it's an older version. I have Subway Surface, Custom Clash, Clash of Clans. Uh, a lot of, quite a few apps here, but um, you would have to look for the file that you've just downloaded just now, which is the Generation R translation ver version 1.1. Zip. Okay, so you you see this thing, and what you do now is you flash it in your virtual device. Okay, um, all you have to do is just press this thing. Whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, that fail. Okay, so all you have to do is just pull this damn thing. Damn you, man. Look, <laughs> this sucks. Alright. Just pull this thing into the virtual machine and let that go. Okay, so file the motion arm translation version 1.1 see seems to be a flashable archive. Do you want to flash it on your motion system? What in this operation might corrupt the virtual device? Okay, so I have already flashed this thing, so I'll just press cancel. Okay, so once you have all these things, you can run files, but I really recommend to download Blackbot because. Black Mart is way better than Google Play Store because my Google Play Store really cr crashes here. I can't, I can't really have it on. You see, it just closes back. So, um, I just use Black Mart instead because Black Mart has a lot of things inside of it. There's like a lot of games and stuff Clash of Lords, Clash of Clans, Clash of Castle Clash, Subway Surface. These are the four games that I actually want to download first. So, um, let's just go home and I'm going to show you guys. A very short gameplay of Subway Surface, um, just to show you guys that this actually works. Um, wait for it. Come on. Okay, so. This is always surface. It might appear to be a bit of uh, laggy because I am recording this video, so it, it will look quite weird, stupid. Okay, so but I assure you that once um uh, I've stopped uh, making this one, this video, the gameplay will be much smoother. Okay, I got something. MEX. Never mind, I'll just die. Okay, so the thing about Subway Surface is games like this, like Subway Surface or Temple Run, um, you would have to use your mouse to play because my computer is not touchscreen. If you have a touchscreen computer, hopefully you can play using it using your screen swiping and stuff. Um, so that's actually all you have to do. Um, so there's the way of how to install stuff inside uh, and how to set up a virtual machine into your um, computer and run Android system inside of it so that's all for today's video and also remember to check out my friend's website um, which is third 96 I can't really remember what what's his name Cat, his name is cat something cat sanitation I think um let's see oh, let's get Facebook he sent me the he sent me his stuff yesterday uh, okay um message okay this one I'll I'll leave this link um down at the description below so cats cat scan the cat scan case scan okay I don't know how to pronounce that thing um but he makes videos of our school stuff um there's this friend who just passed away sad guy and well we have our drama competitions um his battlefield stuff just a bit just a few videos but um you can also go check out his book which is called uh, what is that? The, the frozen in fear, the darkness within, in wattpad.com, which I will also 
um, include in the description below and well that's all for today's video thanks for watching Arma out